With The Meg being a huge box office success back in the summer of 2018, grossing over $530 million worldwide, there never really was a doubt that we would get a sequel. Hey guys, Mike here. Hope you're all doing well. Now, Jason Statham is scheduled to reprise his role as Jonas Taylor, and recently director Ben Wheatley has been attached to the film. Now, director Wheatley's previous work focused in the areas of black comedy and psychological thrillers. But I don't know about you guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with a giant shark wreaking havoc. Now, the Meg movie ends with the Megalodon being killed. Obviously, there must be more of these creatures lurking in the Earth's oceans, otherwise we would not get a sequel. Not much is known, unfortunately, about the Meg sequel, but we can only hope that it follows a lot of the blueprints that Steve Alton's 1999 book, The Trench, laid out. And in The Trench, Jonas Taylor must face his deepest fears in order to save himself, his family, and his job. The novel itself takes place four years after a discovery of the Megalodon in the Mariana Trench. Taylor is now housing her one surviving offspring at the Tanaka Institute and he turns to an eccentric billionaire to help keep the institute afloat. The money, however, comes with a price, though. One night, three boys break into the institute, and they want to see the megalodon named Angel. She breaks through the viewing glass, kills one of them, while she drowns the other two. Actually, the ocean drowns the other two, but three deaths nonetheless. And as you can imagine, Angel eventually rams the gate to her tank and breaks free. Jonas knows instantly this is a massive problem and he must recapture her and predicts by instinct that she will head back to the trench. But by now she has a taste for human blood and with that in mind she will continue to seek out humans as a potential food source. In the next week Angel wreaks havoc by killing surfers, a whale named Tootie, and destroying a ship. Jonas launches an expedition to capture Angel but fails due to her size and speed. The creature is heading full speed to the trench now. Now, the eccentric billionaire at this point manages to manipulate Terry Tanaka, Jonas's love interest, down to his research station at the bottom of the ocean. And it is down there that they, dis they discover that the Megalodon is not alone. There is also a Chronosaurus, another prehistoric sea creature. Normally solitary hunters, these Chronosaurus have evolved to hunt in packs due to the fact that they have been trapped in the trench for so long. Now, still in pursuit of Angel the Megalodon, Jonas learns of Terry being caught in the secret operation at the Deep Sea Research Station. He heads down there and is shocked to learn of the Chronosaur discovery himself. He also realizes at this point that there may be many more extinct marine life living down there in the trench. The Deep Sea Station is attacked by the Chronosaur as Angel arrives in the trench after having mated with another Megalodon. Jonas reunites with Terry, and they head to the surface. On their way up, they are attacked by another Chronosaur, and it is Angel the Megalodon that attacks the beast, ultimately allowing Jonas and Terry to escape. Now, what I just read you guys was a lot of the plot summary of Steve Alton's 1999 book, The Trench.